Hi guys, it's Tom from Fish Feed TV here today for, with another video. Um, today I wanted to talk about what I just did to my kayak. Um, I've been noticing that back here, especially from dragging through the dirt and all that, um, my keel was kind of getting a little thin. I didn't like it. I could see light through it from the other side. Um, so I decided just to put under spray all up and down the kayak. Um, and that's really, I really hope that this is going to keep it from scratching. I go down to Charleston a lot and have to deal with oysters scratching up my kayak. Um, so this is probably a really good way just to stop it from doing that. And as you can see right here, there's an actual indent. You can see how thick that stuff is um, and how tough. So it, not only does it look pretty good, I would say it looks pretty good, but it's really going to help protect the kayak. Um, and basically what I did, I just took some ordinary wall tape and some newspaper and taped it along this edge right here, this curve. Um, and while it's not completely straight, uh, I tried my best right here. I kind of forgot to cut away the tape as you can see. Um, but I just tried to get it as straight as possible. Um, I mean, it's a kayak, so it didn't really matter all that much. But I did get it as straight as I possibly could. Um, considering the time that it took. Uh, and then basically I just took, well this stuff right here, it's Bondo heavy duty rubberized coating, undercoating. Um, and that stuff really worked out well. It took me two cans just to do this entire kayak. Um, and it cost me like $13 for all of it. Um, honestly, I would have taken two, or, or I mean three cans just to make it a little thicker. Uh, but I thought two would last me. Um, I ended up running out. Um, but that's always something you can go back with uh, and spray another layer. Um, but it is definitely worth it just for keeping the scratches off. As you can see, there were some pretty deep scratches considering that you can see them through uh, all this, all this underspray. But it hopefully those scratches don't spread and we don't have... Um, too big of an issue anymore um, but I just wanted to show you guys this I wanted to kind of spread this kind of knowledge with you guys because I know a lot of people um, are low budget fishermen uh, and don't want to spend $500 on a kayak all the time and I mean this kayaks I've gone a lot of places with it so it means a lot to me and I don't want it to get a hole in it and just be a hassle to paddle around because um, I'd like to focus on fishing and not not sinking. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any ideas for keeping boats in good shape. Um, also, I'm thinking about painting over this with some spray paint, try and make it the same color as uh, the rest of the kayak. but. I'd like to know what you guys think on how it looks, all of that. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be posting more. Um, and if you guys liked it, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, just comment in the uh, comment section below and I'll get back to you. All right.